Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks a million for joining us for today's Socrates Lunch and Learn webinar. It's a bit after lunch, but it was the only time this week that we could get that worked. Um, my name's Donald O'Neill, and I'm the head of marketing for Clan William Health. And with me today, as always, I have Louise Murray, our support team lead for Socrates. And Louise is going to walk through a, a demonstration of how to do the COVID booster shots in your Socrates system. Um, as always, if you have any questions, do just uh, pop them into the questions panel on the right hand side of your screen. There should be a little tab there that says questions. Drop them in there. And uh, once Louise has finished her demo, I'll do my best to ask her any of the questions that you guys have. So without further ado, um, I'm going to pass it over to pass the control over to Louise, and she's going to walk you through. What will be probably quite a short webinar today, and um, there's not a huge amount to go through, but uh, look, I think it is all important and should hopefully make your lives easier as you're as you're going through this and giving the uh, giving the COVID boosters. <clears throat> okay, hi everybody. Can you see my screen now, Donna? Can indeed, Louise. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, great. Yeah. So as Donna was saying, it's going to be very short and sweet. So the first things first. When you are inside of Socrates on your home screen, um, if you don't have your if a home screen, all you have to do is basically open up a browser. But if you and go to the Socrates website, but in here, what you can do is you can go to user guys. And it will open up the website. And here we have all of our manuals and the first thing here, pretty much what I'm going to go through now is in this year. And then also this might be useful for when you um, are adding in the batch numbers for any shot, whether it's COVID related or any other shot. So just I want to point out this manual. So if I just click on download here, I just want to point out the first part here. This this particular manual was created on the 29th of September this year, so things have changed on that. So on this year, it's pointing you to the COVID-19 uh, HSE bulletin board. So if you click on that link, it will bring you to the bulletin board and all the kind of latest news on on um, on the status of when you, what shots you should give to who. You can also just um, search for it if you just go um, HSE bulletin um, it's also on that so if you just click on that then it will bring you straight to the bulletin board so that will be useful so you can keep an eye on that so this the last time this was updated was on the 22nd and there's previous bulletins down at the bottom for previous previous months or previous yeah previous months so I'll just bring you back to the Socrates other so this part here is for manuals and how to do a lot of things but these are the two things I'm going to go with through with you all now so the first things first a lot of you might know how to do this but I'm going to show you anyway so under my control panel admin console immunizations so we're going to add in the COVID vaccine so this is a lot of our test ones so just to make it clearer I'm just going to look for the word COVID. So everyone should have these shots inside of their system and they're all there, but you don't use all of them. It obviously depends on your area and what, what you get sent. So these are the ones that you've been using normally, the Visor and probably the Moderna and AstraZeneca. You've got the, the two shots there that you have been using. The new shots that came in a few months ago into your system was the uh, Visor Booster and the visor uh, shot three immunocompromised and the same with uh, Moderna you got shot one shot two and you have Moderna booster and immuno immunocompromised those are the two new ones for those shots and so when you're going to do is you're going to get your batch in and the shots that you're given now are either booster or immunocompromised so if I'm just going to go in here and just highlight the visor booster shot one that's the example that I'm going to go with for today it's the exact same format as if, you're, if you've got Moderna. So what you do is you get your batch number in. So I'm just going to fill in a fake one here for testing. And then we got the expiry date, whatever date that should be remaining. So this is quite useful so that you know how much stock you've got left. So I'm just going to say uh, 80 and I have 80 remaining. And then the drug in here, we're going to click on the button with the three dots to the right. And I'm just going to search for the word COVID because they all um, have the same starting off. So there's COVID, there's the Visor, Moderna, Astra and Johnson. So uh, if I just go with the Visor one and I can complete batch and zero remaining if so desired, but it's not 
mandatory. You don't have to if you don't want to. I'm going to click on save. And so I just don't, a lot of the time you're probably going to be given booster. You mightn't be given many in um, immunocompromised in your area. It, depend, it all depends on your surgery. So if you're going to be given a mixture, you just basically booster shot one, fill it in, then highlight the shot three one. And instead of searching for the batch, or you can just type out a part of the batch like that and click on tab and it will automatically bring in the batch number that we already have. So you don't start, you don't write it all out from scratch. You basically type it out partially and then uh, hitting the tab button and it will check to see if you have a batch number of that name. Or else what you could do is type it out and click on the button with the three dots and it does the same thing. Just, a just clicking on the tab button is quicker. So then I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to go save and there's the batch in there on the left hand side. So there's the under shot three immunocompromised and the booster shot one. So it's important that if you're given the boosters or the shot three, depending on what you need, you use those and you don't add the one that you have been using in previous months at the start of the year. So now I'm going to show you how to add it into a chart. So I'm going to click on consultation and I have test example here, just stuff earlier. So Joe blogs. So in this example, um, it's basically, um, I'm going to, to say that they're getting the um, immunocompromised one because this particular person, that's the one that they need. But so we're going to go click on begin consultation and I'm going to just say what it's for and click on save. And then I'm going to navigate over to the immunization section on the left and I am going to click on the add e-vaccine schedule. So from here we're going to select the, the schedule that we're given. So over here on the left we've got schedule and then we're going to choose the one that we use. So as I was saying a moment ago, you're not going to choose the visor one, you're going to choose the shot three immunocompromised if that's what you're doing or the booster. This person has already had their first shot of shot or their first two shots, so I'm I'm never going to need to use that one again. I'm only going to be using either this one here or this one here if it's Pfizer. And the same thing with Moderna, if it's actually Moderna shots that I'm given, I either choose the booster or I choose the shot three. So I am going to choose the, as I was saying, I was just going to say this person is immunocompromised, so I'm going to select that one. And then I fill in the same details as I have before. So I click on patient is eligible, check, patient consented, yes. You choose whatever it is in there. And then you fill in all the details here and you either have to fill in a mobile number or an email address. So this particular person, I have their email address filled in. It's loaded in from their patient details. This one here is just a, it's just an invalid PPSN. It's not the correct one. So if I hover over it, it's telling me it's not valid. And so I can't, I, so basically at that stage, you're going to try and find out what the correct PPSN is. In this example, I'm just going to overwrite that and say that I just kind of want to send it. I don't want to um, get paid for it. So I'm going to click on unknown and I'm going to click on, I wish to proceed with electronic reimbursement without electronic reimbursement. So then I'm going to click on the next button. And then I fill in the details in here as normal. So it's already brought in the date or sorry, the batch number and the expiry date, all that, because that's the batch number that I'm after filling in. And then I just choose the site that I've chosen. And then you can also fill in, what some people have been doing is putting in under comment the solution that you've been mixing up and putting that in there as well. Um, and then we're gonna click on save. Now, just, just to warn you, um, I'm using a tel test health link search. So it's just, it takes a little moment sometimes to actually send. So before you click on save, you just need to make sure that you've actually filled in the correct information. Like you've chose the right shot, you've put in the batch count correct, et cetera. Cause it's just after it's sent, it's sent. You can't resend it as in it's already gone. It goes to the relevant people. So we can't go and send off another shot if you make a mistake after that, because the HSC are going to send it back, say, no, you've already sent it, basically, you can't send it again. So we're going to click on save. So I've confirmed here that these details are correct, and I'm going to click on save. And this particular window here is, as I was saying, I'm not making, I'm not sending one off with a valid PPSN. So I'm just going to say submit without electronic payment. And then this gets sent off. 
and I did this earlier and it took about 20, 30 seconds. So your yeah. one doesn't take this long normally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's because you're a test going through to a test and then waiting. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. So great. So now it's sent off there now. So these are the previous ones I've sent before. And then there's the one that I've just sent off. And so I'll just show you where they've gone. We've gone in under, if you want to check the status of your shots, we're going to go in under my control panel, claim tracking. So I'm just going to look at, um, these are just test ones that we've done in the office here. So I'm just going to go electronic claims just so I can see the ones that are green. So this one here is not sent. So you can figure out why that's not going. I know in this example, it's because the doctor is wrong. And then this one is sent. These are the ones we've all sent. There's ones I did earlier on and received and rejected and um, incomplete. So there's none in this in these sections. So if you ever come across ones that, so when you send off your um, COVID vaccines, they go to two different places. They one go to the PCRS for payment. So that's the reimbursement. And then the second thing is to go to the clinical people who process the content of the information to say, all right, that person's got a shot. So it gets sent off. And then whenever you download your bloods, so HealthLink uh, process the responses back, they download into your system. And then whenever you download your bloods, they will change to either uh, received or rejected. So if they're rejected, you can come in here and figure out why a shot has, has become um, rejected. Maybe the PPSN is wrong or maybe you weren't meant to give that particular shot. But yeah, so that there's where you come in and try and figure out why things are not working. And it's a good idea to keep an eye on this because you might have sent off some vaccines and not realized, oh, sugar, have I actually, um, are they actually gone? Are they, are they actually, are we going to get paid? And are, has the patient, um, yeah, has the information got sent off correctly? So that is pretty much that. That's a summary of everything. And um, yeah, so do we have any questions coming in? Don? No, no questions in as of yet. Um, I suppose the, the the key kind of takeaways that I'm getting from that, Louise, is just to make sure that it is the right vaccination. So really, at this stage, you won't be given shot one or shot two. It's the booster that you need to look for. And I suppose that's what you need to really make sure that you're assigning that and the PPS number are, 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 are kind of the, the keys for successfully getting paid here, really. Am I right in that? Exactly. That's that's exactly the whole summary of the whole thing. Yeah, just make sure that you're sending the correct one. And that's pretty much it. Correct one. And you've definitely filled in the correct information because once it's gone, it goes to the relevant people. So you can't send off another one. And then just following on from that. So in that screen that you're showing there, if there was one that re that was rejected for whatever reason, it will be just a case of kind of clicking into it there, editing whatever needs to be edited. Like you'll be alerted as to what was wrong with yeah. it, will you? Yeah, exactly. You come back with a message over here on the right hand side to say what exactly the message is. So maybe PPSN is wrong or wrong doctor or whatever it is. So that's where you would see the message. Okay, cool. So like pretty straightforward. And I think, uh, yeah, the, the, the guiding principles really are, you know, make sure the shot is right and make sure you have the, the PPS number and then Hopefully you're you're kind of good to go from there, and it should be relatively straightforward. But I know, really, I suppose that the the point of this webinar is to to get that across to you that it's easy if you do it right, and if if you don't do it right, that's when the problems start, and that's what starts kind of wasting everybody's time, I suppose, from there, or you know, causing creating more work for yourselves, really. So I think uh, exactly, yeah, that's that that's great. Yeah. Look, great. there is no questions in there i think uh, short and sharp um, and hopefully that has helped everyone uh, who has attended today as always if you are looking for those um support guides that louise referenced at the start you can get to them from the home page in socrates and um, by clicking on the the card that's in there or else if you just go to our website socrates.ie forward slash resources you can find them there as well so that they're, they're, they're easy to find yeah, and one actually one extra thing that people mightn't realize is that's quite useful. Sometimes if we're going to send off notification to people, if you go up to your notifications on the right hand side, you'll see there might be some news updates. So if you click on that, it'll give you some news. So, for example, yesterday we sent out to say that the manual is on the website. Um, there's another message that came in in August about the PCRS checker. So once you've dealt with it, so like let's just say I know this answer here. 
So I go, all right, yeah, that's fine. I know all that information. And if I click on it, it'll give me the information as to what I need to do. So how it will help me to find, like this particular one was, I couldn't get my, um, I could tra validating your PPS or your GMS cards through the system. So if you click on your news, you might see the, the solution on how to fix that. So once you've done, you can go, oh yeah, that's fine. I've done that and you can go mark as red. So look up every so often if you're thinking there might be some news, if you just look under some news updates. I have two left, so that's what I do. <laughs> Great stuff. Thanks, Vinny. I'm sorry, we did just have a question in asking, can we send send the recording? Um, all of all of these Lunch and Learn webinars are recorded and added to YouTube, so I just need to do a bit of uh, technical wizardry and convert a couple of files, but I'll be adding it to YouTube later on this afternoon. If you log on, if, sorry, if you go to YouTube and just search Socrates Lunch and Learn, it'll come back up. And sorry, yeah, Louise is helpfully demonstrating the link that's in there. Um, so this links to the Socrates playlist, which has all of the webinars there. So again, you can kind of pick from uh, anything under this and watch it at, at your leisure or whenever suits you. So again, hopefully hopefully, kind of useful resources for you guys. So uh, fingers crossed, everything's easy. And a huge thanks to Louise for running through that with us today. We'll leave it there. Okay. Thanks, Donald. Right, bye everyone. Thanks everyone for joining. Bye-bye.